Music. I'm Jay Shin, and I just finished a commission at Intercontinental Airport in Houston, Texas, in, at Terminal D, the International Terminal. Two projected light murals, one Celestial Candyland, which is 150 by 15 feet, and the other titled Candyland Landing, which is 45 by 15 feet. The project was two years from start to finish, and the last eight weeks were in the airport for installation, working with electricians, metal workers. We had three lifts going up 60 feet high to install the 13 projectors. The work is uh, projected light images that are projected onto a stationary printed material. I made many trips to, to the terminal during the planning stage looking for inspiration. It was somewhat an overwhelming space. It was dark and gray and very long. The terminal is about 300 feet long by, with a 60 foot ceiling. So it's a vast open space. The wall that the work is on has a pronounced grid, a rectangular grid that's dominant throughout the airport terminals as a whole. I use that as a, a grid for my image. Uh, I've been working with the projections for some time, projecting light on a painted image that uh, becomes a more three-dimensional and changing image that deals with space and color uh, and the interaction of color. These are some of the studies in preparing for Candyland Landing and Celestial Candyland. Uh, I do a lot of drawings to come up with these. I had to work off an architectural scale drawing of what the terminal was. And in the planning on this, I knew I wanted to do two parts. The terminal was so long and being able to really give the piece of presence in the terminal, I thought it was important that it was either going to take up the whole length of the airport or be divided in a way where they would be two related pieces. They don't match and they're not the exact same image but they're very similar and both are going through the color changing that evolves over time with about a three it is a three minute loop uh, of color change that's projected upon the printed image. The terminal is an embarking point for so many diverse cultures that are getting ready to leave for international travel. I wanted this piece to really evoke a calmness and a peacefulness and provide a meditative spirit to the piece that would allow people a bit of rest in the hecticness of, of getting ready to travel and of air travel. It is a calm, I feel like a calm piece in that respect and that it also changes uh, the longer someone looks at it. It's a slow, gradual change of color um, with the inspiration coming from the sky itself and the peacefulness that that evokes. Uh, much like in an Agnes Martin painting, I've always enjoyed where you're looking into a vast space uh, that evokes the sky or the sea or mountains. I wanted that expansiveness in the piece. I was inspired by just watching the sky and how the different layers of the stratosphere build up and change image of what we're looking at. And it really needed to be accessible to all these different cultures and different people where they could bring what they needed to to the piece and hopefully enjoy it during their time as they're in the terminal and about to embark on travel. Working site specific as an artist really pushes me and it's something I really enjoy in that it brings new things to my work. I work with a lot of different materials and working in a lot of different places, even with studios in different cities. It allows change in my work. It pushes me to bring what I have to the table with what is, what is a given, such as this architectural space as the airport. I knew I wanted to make something and create something that has a wide audience that is not closed down in the type of image it's provoking. Thank you.